Okay, go ahead. Okay, nowhere in those uh, supervision charges did it say allegations. They could put anything down there. John DiCarlo scared the shit out of Justin Widener and said he turned himself into a fiduciary and Justin, you're going to go to jail. They scared the shit out of Justin Widener. Justin Widener, I believe it was uh, Monday the 15th, uh, he called me and said he's resigning, that he went to work for Doug as Doug's assistant chief of staff. Okay? So one day he's working for me, the next day he's working for Doug. Okay? The guy's nervous. He says, Mike, I think they're going to kangaroo you. They're going to kick you out, but I think you'll be back. I love you, Mike, but hey, I got to think of my family. These are all trumped up charges. They're bullshit. Like I said, I am proud, right, proud, proud of my accomplishments. Dan McDonald was involved in witness tampering. Told one of my witnesses and said, hey, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, say anything good about Mike McCarran. Okay? True statement. Also at my trial, Exhibit 45 was a doctored email. So they could do everything in this microcosm here. But this is Doug McCarran's union, okay? But this is a small little bubble, but there's outside of this where I'll be vindicated. We're talking about that loan to John Jory Corporation. Doug McCarran made that loan through the International. $500,000 unsecured, okay? He rolled it over onto me about a year and a half ago and said, you were responsible for this. And then we got it collateralized. One of the reasons for the loans, Best Interiors or SCI, when we would go after a contractor, we'd beat the living dog shit out of him. The guy's got no hair in his lungs. He needs, he needs to survive. He needs a line of credit. No one would give him a line of credit. We did. General President Doug McCarran, in conversations with me, said, Mike, even if we get none of, zero of that money back, that it pay, paid off a hundredfold. And he was right. It was true. I fell out of favor with this man right here, okay? And it's regarding his girlfriend, Sandy Maloney, which he gave a $66,000 increase to and a company car, and she's working in my building. And I said, hey, Doug, that's wrong. And that's a true statement, true statement. Those loans with the JATC, not loans, but those rental agreements, a lot of them that I, I had inherited from my brother, Doug McCarran. Go ahead and laugh. Go ahead and laugh, Doug. You can laugh here all you want. You know, you know, you know the story. You know the truth. Hey, if you're tapping here, it looks like you're a little nervous. Yeah, I got something I want to say. Go ahead. Can I okay. for it? Look, I'll tell you this. That's not true about John Jory. It wasn't an international loan on John Jory. You know it, okay? And all your credit card receipts, where are they? Justin Widener's got it, Doug. Oh, okay. Yeah. Justin yeah. Widener's got it. All right. That's yeah. what, there, there, there was no testimony of that at the trial. Did you did you bring Justin Widener up? Did you testify at the trial, Mike? No, I didn't. You bring up 10 witnesses. Hey, hey and you know what, Doug? And you have a, you, who has the floor here? Well, you said I could have the floor. Okay? <laughs> well, well, hey, and, it's going to be a debate. And, and how are we going to do it? If, if we want to talk about girlfriends, we can talk yeah. about girlfriends. <laughs> Sandy, <laughs> Sandy Maloney's not my girlfriend. We, oh, went, okay. we went up to the trust fund, all right? We save four and a half million dollars a year at the trust fund. Family and fight. Family so, fight. So, so, yeah. so look, yeah. hey, why didn't you visit your mother when she was dying in the hospital? She broke her hip hey, and broke her. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe this. You, did, you didn't even miss it. I don't believe this. Mike, can I have some order, please? We don't want to leave it. It is. Order on order. Order on order. Mike, it's what it's all about. It's about a fucking family squabble. That's what it's all about. Mike, please. It's about an abuse of power. That's what it is. Mike, I'm going to ask you to get out of here. Mr. Benning, are you going to get out of here? I mean, come on. Let's get back to business here. The power is right here. Okay, yeah, it's standing right here. The executive committee was never notified of any of those loans at all. That's bullshit. That, that's the truth. There's a couple executive committee members here that can tell you the same thing. They all testified. The executive committee of the regional council went on record 
to go against you and and have the international in there as as the supervision. Once Mike in, uh, Mike Draper, when he met with my executive committee, the first thing out of his mouth that it's in the minutes was, "I fired Mike Olds and removed him from the executive committee." Now I want to take a vote to continue the supervision. He scared the shit out of everybody. Every agent and organizer in this room is afraid of losing their job. Okay? This is a cross between the Nazi Gestapo and the Mafia. Go ahead and laugh, Dan. That's what it is. What I said before, democracy in this brotherhood is dead, and this is the man that killed it. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Okay, let me say something. You know, look, I'm going to tell you something. You know, mine said this is a little microcosm here, and this will be, you know, will, will be brought out in the courts, and it will. And then we'll see what happens. But I'm going to tell you something. The integrity of the international going in there, there's no question about it. There's no question about those loans, of what happened with those loans. The trustees, the management trustees understood it, and they sent you a letter about it, and you did nothing about the letter. So the $5 million in loans, the $260,000 in interest that the district council paid, it's got to be taken back. There's no question about that. Now, when it comes right down, this is all going to come out in the water. We had a trial up there. We'll let that trial committee decide whether Mike's innocent or guilty. We don't know what that verdict's going to be. If Mike wants to run to federal court, he can do that. And the courts will decide who's right and who's wrong. And that's what's going to happen here, plain and simple. But there's all kinds of, that, that thing that Danny read, the people that went in there and did that have got a lot of integrity. Now, the receipts aren't there. Where are the receipts? Justin Weiner, he could have brought Justin and asked him that on, on the record. He didn't ask him that. He could have called him as a witness. He could have, when at the trial, he didn't testify. He could have got on. He could have testified and said, I gave those to Justin Weiner. He didn't do that. He didn't testify. Everybody that was at that trial, his witnesses, they, they were character witnesses. They didn't say anything that had anything to do with the $5 million loans. What you're seeing here is a bunch of subterfuge. There's no question about it. And we're going to find out what happened. There's no question about it. The trial committee will do it. We're going to have the, the, the supervision hearing. Everybody can go to the supervision hearing. They can see all the, all, all the uh, evidence that we have that we put forth in that letter. It'll all be there. There will be testimony. And you can see for yourself. That's what's going to happen. Okay? So, I mean, that's really all, I got, all I've got to say. But listen, you are the fiduciary as a secretary treasurer of that council. You've got a right to go to everything you do to the, to the general executive, to your general, your executive board. That was not done. Okay? To the trustees. That was not done. Credit card receipts, $115,000, man, I top, uh, uncalled for. So that was all on the record. There's a trial. It was held. We'll find out what the panel says. You are all involved. All of Doug's cronies. You're all, if they don't rule in his way, they're fired. They're down the road. I asked people to testify on my behalf, and they said, Mike, are you nuts? If I go up there, I'm done. Doug? or Draper is going to fire me and my career is over. Doug had talked to all of my guys and said, you have a career decision to make. Do you understand? You have a career decision to make. You're either going to work for this brotherhood and do what I'm told and stay away from Mike McCarran or you're done. Everybody knows it, Doug. Like I said That's before, I am proud of, of my yeah, reputation, of my accomplishments, Doug. And it's true. That Doug gave his girlfriend, Sandy Maloney, a $66,000 increase, gave her a company car, and it frosted me. And I said, hey, Doug, that's not right. We almost got in a fist fight in the parking lot of Local 209. He said, you may be nine years younger than me, but I'll kick your fucking ass. And you did say it. Go ahead and laugh. No, 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 Go ahead and laugh. Let me say this. Look. Well, hey, Doug ain't a liar. The, 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 the trust fund, I'm going to want to talk about those allocations. I did not give her a raise, all right? They came over, and she's not my girlfriend. They came over from, from Las Vegas. We hired, we hired Martin Siegel and Company 
to come in and do the work, okay? Martin Siegel was the one that set that up. Now, as far as me telling people that, that I'm going to fire him, you got to make a career decision, I told Mike Oles that, that got fired, and I'll tell you why. I sat down with Mike Oles, and I asked Mike Oles, did you see the, the four, did you talk to Mike about the 14 D charges? Did you see the 14 charges? D charges. He told me, no, I did not. I said, Mike, are you sure you didn't see the 14 D charges? I asked him twice. He said, yes, I'm sure I didn't see it. Lo and behold, I get two other people that tell me that he was at a meeting with Mike where they discussed the 14 D charges. And I told one man, Mike Oles, when I told Mike Oles, I said, Mike Oles, you lie to the general president and you make a career decision. Now that's what I said to one man, not a bunch of men. I said to one man that lied to me, okay? So these allegations here are correct that are up here. We've got people with integrity. I cannot fire, I cannot fire Mike Draper. I can't fire Doug Baines. I can't fire the people that are on these committees. They are elected at a general convention, all right? They're elected at a general convention just like I'm elected at a general convention. So what you're hearing here is false. Hey, uh, Doug, is it true that you are drawing your Southern California carpenter's pension and are still the general president of the United Brotherhood making nearly a half million dollars a year? Yes, it's true. Oh, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Okay. I'm, I, I'm, I'm no longer a carpenter. I got 35 years in. I'm drawing my Southern oh. California pension. And wait, I, I make $390,000 a year. Plus your pension. Okay. And wow. Plus pension. Okay. You know, at the, at the pension fund, which I used to be a trustee, it was a case that came before the pension fund. It was a retired carpenter from the Southwest Council that was working somewhere for a church in South Alabama and was drawing 250 bucks a week. And I think he had a $700 pension. And he pulled it from him. They pulled it from him because he's working at the trade. Isn't $390,000 enough for you, Doug, you, you know, Mike, to be drawing this Mike, stuff? Mike, you're a liar. I'm a liar. Let me tell you something. Here's the rules of the pension fund. Here's the rules of the pension fund. If you're a carpenter, if you're a carpenter, and you're working within the Southern California area, you can't, you can't draw your pension, OK? If you're working in Alabama or you're working outside the bargain area, you can draw your pension to, 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 if you're working in Northern California or out of the area, you can draw your pension. That's a lie. And look, Mike, I, we'll research it, Doug. Yeah, we'll, we'll research it. Well, you know what? Research We're going to research it. The Justice Department is going to research Good. all of this stuff, too, Mike. You know, hey, Doug, Doug, bring it on. I met with the DOL. Yeah, I know you did. I met with them all. I know they you looked did. at it all. And, Doug, I, I think that there's a big investigation that's going on, yeah. and, and I will be vindicated. <laughs> this is making history. Hey, you know what? For me, for all, everything that I've suffered from him, all this bullshit, I don't care. I stand here and pull my pants down. I'm an open book. I'll tell you everything. <laughs> all the shit they put me through, I got them some thick skin. He, called me a, he calls me a coward. Okay? Hey, what about us now? Hey, this is besetting your right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Members. Go ahead. This, this Go ahead. It's not about yeah. both you guys. It's Absolutely it's not. Members. It's not. Members. It's not. Hey, it's all right there. Hey, it'll all come out. It'll all come out in the wash, brother. You're right. You two, I, I agree with you. I respect both of you. No, I agree with you, 100%. But it's not about you guys. It's about us here. I agree. It's about our people. I agree. I agree. It's about my channel and my vision. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, if I can make a statement. Frank Rello, man, is a an ace carver, and he's one of our ace stewards. And Frank, you know, Supervisor Draper came into the council. He's correcting and has corrected much of the financial malpractice that's taken place over the last six years. He's reinstituted the welding program through uh, in our apprenticeship, which is one improvement. And as of January 1st, because of the money savings that Mike Draper has been able to allocate appropriately now that Mike McCarran is out, January 1st, we're getting our, our vision and our dental back. Oh, yeah. so we came to this a long time ago. That's why we
demanded, Mike, and Karen's resignation as president of this local, and we demand that the, that you do it now, Mike. Resign, buddy. It's I over. Second I second that. I second, second that. that. Hey, you know what? That has no bearing. Who seconds it? Who fifths it? Who fourths it? Mike McCarran's not going to resign. How's that? I like it. Okay? Hey, Mike, you can finish that meeting off, Mr. Chairman. Okay. All right. Anything for the good of the order? Kenny, good of the order? Yes, you may. Yeah, can you come up here, please? Hey, Mike, can you throw me water in? Sure.